what? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. What? I pat Sayori on the shoulder. What? Hey guys, how are you? Hope you're fine. My name is Mr. Karehug and today I'm playing Doki Doki Literature Club once again. Um, on the last episode, we ended on this. We are deciding who we should show our poem first. And um, if you saw the first video, you already know that the other Yori ship is something real. So I'm going to go with Sayori. I'm going to show it because also she's my childhood friend, right? Why should I show it to Natsuki or Yuri who are like new to me? I could show it to Monica because apparently I had a crush on Monica. Oh well, or the Hoko <laughs> had a crush on Monica. But Sayori, Sayori's Sayori my girl, so I'm gonna show it to her first. I'm definitely, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. Good. Um, she's my good friend. And you're gonna end up in something more. I know. I, I I know it. I know that's gonna happen. So, Sayori surprise! Ah, okay, okay. Um, what was your voice again? Ah, uh, this one is probably not your voice, but ah, uh, here I go. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Olohoko. Thank you! I am so glad you like it. I have no idea what I wrote. <laughs> They're just some random words, but but I'm so glad you like it. Huh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, I didn't know I was a good writer either. <laughs> you may <laughs> uh, Sayori, Sayori, calm down your horses. You must be seriously overreacting, okay? I'm not a good writer at all. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, the Hoko and I, we we share the same mind. That's that's the Hoko family. Well, maybe that's why. Okay, let me just turn down the volume a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> what? Sayori, please. <laughs> Gee. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Huh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So, when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a oh, the hook a poem. <laughs> you know how there's the, the haiku poem? The other hook a poem is a completely different new category. <laughs> What makes it feel extra special? <laughs> like, I feel your feelings. <laughs> what feelings? Sayori hopes the shit against her chest. <laughs> Sayori, what are you doing? You're killing me. You're so weird, Sayori. But I like you anyway. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. <laughs> it Why can't I stop laughing? God. <sighs> It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. <laughs> Who knows, you could be a ghost, or with the technology that we have nowadays, you could be a hologram or something. Um, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. So if you promise that you are going to, I don't know, rob a bank, you're going to be like, oh yes, I'm gonna do it because, you know, I don't break my promises. Otohoko, you are a weird type of guy, and my hair is not helping me this morning. See? It's like I said before, Otohoko. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. I like this voice. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. 
which is to flirt with all the girls in this club. But I'm not going to allow it. You belong to Sayori. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my, uh, that will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you hold you to that. Then, yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Sure. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, we're going to read it. Yes. Okay. So, dear sunshine. The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. There is more. Okay, Sayori, that was actually a really cute poem. Like I don't, I don't like poems. Like I mean, I could read one and it's okay. But like I took a creative writing class last year and we focused a lot on poems, and it was like, ugh. But in my innocent poetic mind, that was cute. That was really cute. This is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? Why does it matter? She did it. No! Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. She did it anyway. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about my, myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah, about that. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? Really innocent, and that's what I like, because you're not creepy at all. It, it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. Oh my god, so you're so innocent. Even though you were laid up late to school <coughs> it's bad to skip breakfast that's true breakfast is the most important meal of the day says the girl who sometimes wakes after 12 and just eats lunch and breakfast in one like lunch is my breakfast and breakfast is my lunch it's not brunch it's just lunch i get all cranky well i guess there's no point in arguing anyway thanks for showing me seriously thank you <laughs> This was uh, this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What? Why did I do this? But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Sure, me too. Who should I show my poem to next? Um. I guess if I show it to Monica, that's gonna end it, or I have to show it to everyone first. So I am going to show it to Yuri, because I want her insight. So you're embarrassed as always? Um, I have to come up with a new voice again. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, <laughs> so, sorry, I, I forgot to start speaking, um, it, it's fine, don't force yourself, I, I don't want you to die or anything. I, I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words, hold on, mm. okay, um, this is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, why do you ask, is it that bad? Is it that bad? <laughs> I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Uh, so it's that bad. 
No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, um, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I, could, I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Mm. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned how to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. Sure. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. She does. Of course, that's not something that that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting to getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How so? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Hmm, sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Ooh, please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smells dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Oh, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be? Oh, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? <coughs> I thought this was like in German or something. I don't know why. All right, so let's read this. Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, Com comes breathing air of the present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Okay, did you wrote this by taking a bath? Uh, I'm sorry, I, I have such terrible, terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it, it took you a long time to read. I'm sorry. I, I had to read this a lot for a video. Um, well, I just don't read script. I don't read script very often. What? I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Huh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose, because I can write better than that. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? My guess is... Yuri is going to be the first one to lose her mind because like I said in the first video, apparently this game is not what it seems that it is so I'm guessing that this girl's not going to turn into this like, I don't know, they all want to be with me and if they can't have me, no one else can type of girls and they're gonna start killing each other or something like that so um, I guess Yuri is going to be the first one to do that so yeah, are you into ghosts? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Odohoko. Really? I must have totally oh <coughs> I must have totally missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. Uh, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. Wow. That's 
a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay, I'm gonna show it to Natsuki. Natsuki, the Sundere girl. Huh? Um. Oh well, it's not about what I expected from someone like you. Oh, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Oh well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It's just. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. <laughs> oh man! Do you want to get. <laughs> Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Huh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it or something like that. Oh my god, the, the music is so cute with her. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can limp, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. I don't know what to say because I haven't read mine. I have it on my phone. But yeah, Natsuki, keep reading mine, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I, I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I, I understand. But the other nice thing about... But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. It actually does. So you did. I, I guess more went into it than I realized. <laughs> That's what it means to be a pro. Ha! I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. Also, you are in first year. No, you were supposed to be like in fourth or something. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Nice. Nice, hello, Hoko. You're learning. Monica. Monica, hello. Hi, hello, Hoko. Having a good time so far? <clears throat> uh, yeah. <laughs> good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Sure. It's kind of embarrassing, but uh, I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Adahoko. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. He makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? Hmm. He and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those... Oh, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, well, 
We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Oh! It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well being. Actually, that's true. They both care about each other. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Um, you sure you're not reading it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayuri's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Okay, I need to keep that in mind from the next poem. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's, a, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. I am going to keep writing about happy thi things and happy thoughts and happy everything. <laughs> that's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else... Might be, uh, might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> you, you, you only have to worry about impressing me. <laughs> oh, oh <coughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Yeah, you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. <laughs> well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. <coughs> hole in, no, in wall. <coughs> hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the speaker protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. Uh, it's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. It's stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't lo looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. I'm worried now. Uh, it sounds like you saw something that you should have seen. Uh, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but maybe you live in a violent environment or something like that. <clears throat> so, what do you think? Um... It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, uh, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, that's kind of a style. That kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the time in between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one, if I may ask? Uh... Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. Ooh, an epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming off strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. Truth. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy, tie it up later. I've heard that advice before, so you're a good girl. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. Okay, I'm going to save in a
a new one and load game uh okay wait what oh, return right uh -huh, i forgot <laughs> phew i guess that's everyone i glance around the room that was a little more stressful than i anticipated it's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. They're not judging you, they give you good feedback. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up, up, up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. <sighs> Aside. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My ass... <laughs> my ass... My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly express sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say anything? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Damn, girl. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. I know the hook could be too. So, based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Ooh. I don't expect it to change. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <laughs> and other hook liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh God! Does it actually help that I didn't have a choice on saying if I liked it or not? The game just said, oh yes, I like it. Oh, the music, stop! Natsuki suddenly stands up. Huh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? Okay, I thought they were going to get into a fight or something. <laughs> that, that's not what I... Huh? You, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that other Hoka appreciates my advice uh, more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... No. I, I, I was full of myself. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Huh? <laughs> oh god, so many voices. Uh, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as the Hulker started showing up. <gasps> oh, shots fired! Natsuki! <laughs> um, Natsuki, that, that's a little... Um, wait, Nat and Yuri. This doesn't involve you! I, I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. No, don't make me choose. Don't make me choose, please. No, the other huckle. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. <laughs> That's not true. She started it. It. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. That's the point in making your poems all come related for some, for no reason. The meaning that's jump the meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. I'm in with Matsuki in this one. Help me explain that to her, Odohoko. Wait, 
Uh, there's, a, there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and feelings the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Odohoko? Don't make me choose, don't make me choose. Uh, well? No, don't make me choose, don't make me choose. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. <gasps> no! So, of course, that's going to be... Oh, 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 okay. So, it's good that I have a third option. I don't want to choose a side. I honestly do not want to do that. Because I don't want someone to hate me. So, if I stay neutral, if I say, help me, Sayori, then... They might both hit me. Okay, shoot, that's bad. Uh, if I stand with Natsuki, I already said that Yuri, I think it's the first one who's gonna lose it, so I don't want that to happen. And it could happen vice versa, so I'm gonna go help me, Sayori. N N Natsuki. N Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Oh, dang. Sayori! Huh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. <laughs> this is awesome. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel... <laughs> Odohoko, please. Odohoko. Oh, shoot. Wait. Um, I wanted to save... I'm going to save here. I, sh I should have saved before choosing, but okay. Oh, uh, the hoko. Well, that's her that problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's been. Oh no, I dragged Sayori into this. She would never... It's your immaturity that, that's made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Wow. Huh? Natsuki, Yuri, <clears throat> you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Be because, well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Uh, <laughs> Sayori Sayori stands triumphantly Girl, Sayori, this is why Odohok is going to marry you Jesus Christ, you are the best You are a lifesaver I am so happy I chose this as my option Monica stands behind her With a bewildered expression Hell, make some tea Yuri rushes off Natsuki sits down With a blank expression on her face Staring at nothing so, this is why Sayori is vice president. Oh, that's me. I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> nah, it's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead. <clears throat> she might be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I will. I would hate to see her get herself hurt. Why do I have a bad feeling about that phrase? That makes two of us. <laughs> you can count on me. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. 
Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Um. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? He was a lot of fun. Well, I, I said it was worth it. He was all right. Well, mostly. Adhoko, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Oh, the hoko! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Okay, Sayori. About what happened earlier. You looked really hot. <laughs> um, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? Uh, no, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? Uh, no, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. You, you know, the Hoko, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone, it's what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? What? Well, just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. What? I pat Sayori on the shoulder. What? I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. What? Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. What do you mean if you... If it has to stop at being friends. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So. I. Did a poem that represented Sayori. I honestly want to only do poems for Sayori. But. Um, I'm going to go with a different girl. I am. Going to go for beauty. She likes dark stuff. So, fester, lust, clumsy, jumpy, parfait, tragedy, clouds, precious, dazzle. I'm gonna go with clouds. Fear, tom, massacre, waterfall, awesome, sparkle, valentine, vivid, melancholy, kiss, waterfall, swimsuit, unrequired, vanilla, peace, peaceful, freakle, inferno, fire, skip, nature. Nature. Determination, meager, lollipop, rain, clouds, smell, crimson, death, hope, anime, flea. Crimson, Disarray, Lucky, Time and Portray, Philosophy, Bad Cage, Extreme, Misfortune, Suicide, Misfortune, Games, Bouncy, Whisper, Ribbon, Holiday, Unending, Marshmallow, Romance, Captive, Dance, Captive, Fireflies, Wonderful, Sunny, Disaster, Melody, Sucks, Grief, Wrath, Ambient, Hope, Ambient, Warm, Empty, Pout, After Image, Graveyard, Candy, Blanket, Keep Together, Adventure, Warm, Defeat, party, embrace, daydream, fantasy, secretive, or a promise, very good question. Yeah, party. Spinning, tenacious, pain, landscape, play, milk, journey, kawaii, broken, cheer, landscape. Do they jump every time I... No. Okay, I was gonna say, do they jump every time I choose a word that re represents them? Explode, ocean, shame, dreams, cars, lipstick, hopeless, boom, tears, this stone, hopeless. Alone, destiny, cry, vivacious, fulgent, sing, vacation, despise, essence, unstable. Destiny. Haste and horror, raindrops, memories, love, anger, puppy, entropy, breathe, papa, entropy. 
friends, Kitty, Assistance, Rose, Forgive, Bunny, Troll, Infallible, Rainbow, Sweet. I'm gonna go with Assistance. Eternity, Agonizing, Treasure, Headphones, Heartbeat, Contamination, Time, Nibble, Sunset, Frightening, and Time. Pleasure, Universe, Heart, Beauty, Climate, Shopping, Hair, Uncontrollable, Bubbles, Electricity, Uncontrollable. A special, Fluffy, Disoriented, Player, Whirlwind, Brivent, uh, Amazing, Childhood, Joy, Analysis, Vibrant. Sadness, funny imagination, color, music, uncanny, happiness, proof, poof, marriage, sugar, uncanny. A skirt, anxiety, unrestrained, giggle, sticky, chocolate, cheeks, emo, extraordinary, infinite, extraordinary. Heart, nightgown, prayer, pure, sensation, family, strawberry, jump, passion, insight, insight. Okay. Another date passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable with uh, here over the past couple of days. You said you were going to say to do the same thing the next day, so why has it been a couple of days? Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, the Hunko. This is a totally complete voice. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just a little not used to you being in the club. That's all. It's been a couple of days, girl. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of uh, <coughs> speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. What? Hey, th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. What? Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? What? Huh? Why that uh, all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill into the desk. Only two small cones fall out. Oh, I see what she was going to do. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so, that only leaves the one option. Or, I give up. Hey, don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> you just suddenly giggles. Huh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Huh? I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Beauty! Tell the Hoko to let me borrow some money. I'm a little bit dizzy, so I apologize if I'm not doing the voices properly. That's... Don't get me involved in like that, Sayori. Besides... You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stone like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Huh? Oh, huh? Huh? Did I just... I didn't mean that. I, I got too absorbed into my book. Um... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right though. I did something bad and now I have to set the revolution. Retribution? <laughs> that still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Is it now? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But, but, you know, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> what? Yeah! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, what was... Huh? A, a cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Who could it have been? Is this a miracle sent from the heavens? From the food gods? 
It's because I paid my re my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard your blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayuri hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayuri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Oh. Sayuri suddenly cups her teeth over her mouth. <gasps> I bit my tongue. <laughs> you're going, you're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. <laughs> Yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? I knew she was gonna say that. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayuri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Oh, uh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookies is still in hand. Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayuri off of her. Sayuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. Wow, that's some flexibility, girl. Hey! Did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful, Sayuri throws away to safety. Yuri and I love as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri? Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica is in the club room. Oh god. Huh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Huh? You couldn't think she... She has a... <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised. She probably, she's probably more desirable than any of us combined. Yuri, girl, don't say things like that. You're all pretty. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly, the door swings open. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. Uh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. We were actually talking about your secret boyfriend. Huh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Ugh. I've just taken a cup of coffee I haven't eaten. I guess that's why making me dizzy. So here I go. Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I'm just not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music at, as well, Monica. <laughs> I, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. Me too. <laughs> That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Odohoko. I'm gonna play it right now. Huh, okay. Monica smiles sweetly. Um... I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, note. Not. Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escape. escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Okay. 
I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. Are you saying that you want to talk to Yuri based on the poem that we wrote? Or because this is part of the game? I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. She has two books. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I was just spacing out. I murdered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. I was, if I was focused then, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rewritten a bit of this, so... That's the book that you gave me, right? Mm, I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore, yes, you bought it. Uh, that, that's not what I meant. I mean, I, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, oh, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to, to hear. Once it starts to pick up, uh, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's about it anyway? What's it about anyway? Well, it's about murder and blood. Um, Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Hell right. I just wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to, to desperately choose who to trust. It sounds... Oh, uh, my camera. This sounds like a book. I haven't read it. Dangerous Minds? A friend of mine... Okay. A friend of mine is totally Odohoko. He, like, we met, and um, he, um, I started like, okay, we, 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 okay, no, hold on, let's start again. We met, and you know, uh, I always carry a book with me, and he noticed that, and he was like, what the heck you read? And I was like, yeah, I read, like, why don't you? And he said, I hate books. So we started talking about books and he realized how much I like reading and then one day he was like Hey, yo, I bought this book. It's called uh, Great Mind, Greatest Mind. I just said the title of the book and I forgot it already. Um, and I was like, oh, cool. And then it's like a trilogy or something. And I said, let me know when you finish the book so we can talk about it. I haven't read it. But he said that once he finished reading the book, he was going to lend it to me. That was a couple of months ago, like six months ago. That hasn't happened. He hasn't even read the book. I mean, I know he has it, but... Oh, Dangerous mind. Minds. That's the title of the book. So, yeah, he's totally all the hoko. And it's about a girl and an experiment or something. Survivor kind of thing. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Yuri made it sound like it, it was uh, like it was going to be a nice story, so dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gentle giggles all of a sudden. Are you are you not a fan of that sort of thing, the Hook? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals on their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be naive, one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm, I'm rambling, Aaron, I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem 
When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please, stop me if I start talking too much. Uh, that's exactly what I've been thinking all this time. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about, passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, uh, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> you don't have to, even though I gave you a book. Ah, uh, <laughs> what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, uh, I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want, want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. That would be so nice. Uh, I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or, or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuli is, Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, you're sitting next, oh, right next to each other. I thought you were like in front of each other. So, sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I, I do? I, I don't really mean to. Sorry. I, I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk and kill this upon Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of... Oh my god. This is just like Eleanor and Park, the book. Again, I love reading, and apparently there's a movie coming out. I'm gonna cry when I see that movie. And like, a spoiler alert, the two protagonists, the two kids, they fell in love because they sat right next to each other at the a school bus, and the guy, Park, he read comics, and he started to notice that Eleanor was like peeking and reading the comics too, and then he just started to like move the comics so the both of them could read them, and he just started turning the pages when he knew she was done reading it. It was so adorable. Okay, I, I need to stop fangirling about books. But oh, the Hoko, don't do this. If you ever do this again, it has to be with Sayori. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each learn in a bit, lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Okay. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right, right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to the side. But in holding it like this, we're handled even closer together than before. It actually kind of... No! It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Oh, the hoko? Stop. Are you ready? Huh? To turn the page? Ah, uh, uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Uh, yeah, thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it a bit by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. This is so nice. I want to do this with someone. My thumb gently letting go of the page Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. You know, Alahoko, you say you're bad at writing. Um, you just need to write your own thoughts, honestly. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... 
The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things that she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. Uh, I see. Yuri, uh, Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Odohoko, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. But wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Uh, I guess I'm more meant that it's kind of cute. <laughs> what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. <laughs> I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri eats hills. It's, it's spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hands from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Oh, Hoko, please stop doing that. You're killing me. Oh, I, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It will be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. You need a bookmark, you know. Who should I show my poem to first? Alright, so apparently I'm going to end every episode around this time because it, it feels like I should end the episode now. So, what did we learn this episode? Nothing weird has happened yet. Um, Natsuki and Yuri get along, but they gotta fight. Sayuri is good at um, just stopping fights or preventing fights. That's good to know. Uh, I think I'm getting along with everyone. Everyone likes me so far. Nobody hates me. Nobody wants to kill me. I don't want to kill anyone. That one thought though. That one thought. That is um that 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 that's worrying me a lot. So I don't know what to think. I don't know what other Hoko's alter motive to join in the club is. But this is interesting. This is a really cool game. Like I like playing it. Even if it doesn't turn out to be something creepy like everyone is saying. I like it and I'm going to keep playing it. So that's it for today and yeah, that's a wrap everybody. I think I said that twice. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I get to see you guys soon. Bye.